Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Okay, I think we're ready to do this. We've, we've got the man, the myth, the legend hanging out with us right now, Reed Hendricks. Reed, you know we do jazz hands. Come on. <laughs> I know you're a big, tough guy. You got to do jazz, the jazz hands. hands. But you listen, you got a man bun, so you could do jazz hands. I don't have a man bun anymore, man. Oh, what? Look, at, oh, look at my hair. Breaking, it's too hot up here. Breaking news. <laughs> what happened to that thing? Man, Where it's been it gone. gone? <laughs> it's been gone for a while, you know. Really? I mean, I work on Oh, man, I've been working on the tractor. I've been working on everything. So Oh, wow. Yeah. That's been so so that must have happened cuz I haven't actually seen you in person in like 2 years. So that's happened in the last two years. That's happened, like yeah. I mean, not that long. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I don't keep a track on it, yeah. but I just yeah. know that. I mean, I'm uh, not hating. I'm not hating. You know, you know what I'm saying. You're still macho. You're still macho. You know, one, one way or the other. <laughs> macho. I don't. You know, that's that's a word. I don't know too many people ever have described yeah. me as being. Yeah. But, uh, macho. Manly, macho man. Yeah. Reed Hendricks. I almost wore that shirt. I've got a. I've got a purple <laughs> macho man shirt. Oh, I almost you do? Wore it. Oh, yeah. macho man, Randy Savage. That's, yeah, that's yeah, my boy. Okay, so listen, let's do this thing. We are live. I hope you guys have your big girl panties on. This is episode 539 of the Who Moved My Freedom podcast. The title is Responding to Emergencies with Reed Hendricks of Valor Ridge. Boom, there he goes. My friend of a long time. Um, it's good to see you again. I know you were chastising me a little bit because I haven't, I haven't uh, been over to the Ridge to do some training in a minute. It's been crazy around here, man. But I, I miss, I miss Valor Ridge, you know. Well, we, uh, we've been very blessed. Mm -hmm. I've just been very blessed uh, to have the kind of students that we've had mm -hmm. this the last. And now we're on our sixth year, so. Wow. Uh, it's it's pretty crazy. You blink and then life goes Dude, by. Dude, six years already. Six years already. Yeah. No. Yeah, twenty. Yeah, we we started twenty fifteen. So, oh. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We're getting old. <laughs> I I feel I feel like I did when I was about twenty five. You did. So okay. I, good. I, good. Yeah. You, you're looking good. Looking good. You know. Staying I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. I I mean I'm feeling I'm feeling the best that I've had in years, mm -hmm. and uh, you know just just really being able to to do amazing stuff and mm -hmm. when you realize like, you know when you first start a business you realize it's like oh man this is a heck of a risk mm -hmm. but um yeah no, I've, I've, I've just i've learned to, to just let go and, and trust the lord and mm -hmm. uh just had amazing friends and mm -hmm. amazing people in my life so i'm just happy man amen man amen um i you know i it is it is a tough thing when you do this and when you make like a big investment like you did in the ridge uh how many what is it what do you have out there like 80 acres yeah, 82 acres. Yeah. 82 acres. Uh, yeah. So much work. I mean, you were just saying I wouldn't recognize the place. There's so much work that's gone into it. What's the improvements that you've added in the last uh, two years, man, since the last time I've been able to get up there and do something? We've, um, we definitely we widened the range. We uh, added to our concrete up there about uh, 10 to 5 yards. Okay. Um, we've, we've added more steel, more berm work. Mm -hmm. um, we always try to enhance the place and, and make it better for each class i, I know i always do and mm -hmm. uh, you know it's just it's just constant improvements and um yeah i mean we it, we added a shoot house oh, okay so, yeah so shoot house that's that's cool so uh, are you living full-time on the range now or oh yeah definitely okay. awesome awesome definitely did you yeah. have you put up a video of a tour like a range tour or anything like that have you had a chance to do any of that <laughs> I haven't. I'm a, oh, okay. I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty private guy, man. I, I know. You, know, I, you know, I'm an introverted person in general. Really, I, you know, really, yeah, really. I mean, it's it's amazing. You'd be surprised how much energy it takes out of me, you know, yeah. to to just do a class yeah. or even do a podcast. I, mm -hmm. I'm a very private person. I'm used mm -hmm. to be, you know, I'm used to being in solitude, and and that's where mm -hmm. a lot of the ideas come from. But yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I want to show a bunch of people a, a video tour of my place. Maybe. Maybe that's for the students that come. <laughs> oh, okay. I well, I you are a private person. I understand. Like I know people are not going to believe this. I'm incredibly introverted. Oh yeah. 
I'm very, very introverted. Yes, I can get up, I can talk to people, I can do all that stuff. I'm kind of like uh, a little bit outrageous and obnoxious. <laughs> but for the most <laughs> part, I'm very, I'm a very, very introverted person. I do like one of the things, and I was thinking about you today because, um, so I, I put up this video yesterday called uh, Losing Out Friday, and we can get into that if you, if you want to. And then when I was responding to some people on the comments of that, you know, we were talking about freedom because that's basically what it is. It's about like losing our freedom. And I was telling them, you know, like the 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 fires of freedom have to be fed often, you know. And when I was saying that, I was thinking about you because I really came to like this. The fire is a powerful thing. And we've got a video, I think, where we you and I were just sitting there like looking at the fire. I know that's a big deal for you. It's a big thing for you. And that like goes back, I guess, to the caveman days. Um <laughs> Uh, recently, like maybe a couple of months ago, Lola and I, we were working on my property and we made, for the first time, I made my own fire out there, man. And Lola and I were just sitting around the fire and I was like, this is really powerful, just sitting out here in the fire. And, and, and I really started doing that, hanging out with you. <laughs> We've been doing this for thousands of years. I mean, mm -hmm. when you sit out and you, you know, burn wood that you cut or found. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you're right about freedom. I mean, it is a fire. It has to be maintained. It's, mm -hmm. you know, Benjamin Franklin always said a republic if you can keep it. Mm -hmm. You know, we mm -hmm. don't just get to sit back and and be lazy, slothful people and do nothing. We shouldn't. Expect... We shouldn't. We should not yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's not what this country was designed for. Mm -hmm. This country wasn't designed for takers. Mm -hmm. You know, this, this country was designed for hardworking, spiritual people mm -hmm. for a higher purpose. Hmm. And I don't know in the history of the world – that there's been a better country mm -hmm. and I don't know anywhere else to go. I, that couldn't, I equal... couldn't think of one. No, yeah. I mean, there's nowhere else to go. I don't, yeah. you know, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. I don't see myself living anywhere else, but what makes America what it is, isn't the president. You know, what makes this country great isn't even necessarily what's come before us. Although that's a template, mm -hmm. what makes this country great is and I hate that phrase, like, like make America great again. Like America has never stopped being great. The only thing that stopped being great was, was the desire for people to remain free mm -hmm. rather than comfortable. Mm -hmm. You cannot be, you, it, it's this weird dynamic. People need to understand something. You cannot be resting on your laurels and then say, oh, well, someone else will do it. Like, l l look at, look at all, how many people want to defer responsibility today. Mm -hmm. It's sickening. It's mm -hmm. sickening. I would never ask anybody to do something for me that I'm not willing to do for myself or have done for myself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I when I look at about freedom and you talk about uh, keeping that fire going, you have to tend the fire. Mm -hmm. You have to mm -hmm. you have to constantly tend it. Yeah. Well, you have to constantly tend freedom. Mm -hmm. uh, th this idea that we can sit back and, and expect other people to fix this. Someone for us will do it for us. Yeah. Yeah. Or if yeah. we just, you know, if we just get the right people in office, mm -hmm. the office is the problem. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the thing. You know what? That's an interesting thing that I don't, uh, I know I don't talk about that a lot on the uh, podcast, but the, the whole idea of make America great again, I know it set off a lot of people out there. And then at the same time, it kind of like, um, it, I, I guess it inspired some people, um, yeah, that's a that's a that's something I guess maybe we should talk about a little bit because I believe that you're right. America's always been great. I know that's a great rallying cry. It's a it's a great thing. It's it, it brought Trump into the White House and everything. And I'm not mad at him about that, but I think it's true. America has always been great. And it's you know, it doesn't mean that it's been perfect, right? That's the beauty of the English language. It doesn't mean it's been perfect, but it's been getting better. And sometimes it, 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 some things have gotten worse, but we have to keep working on that. It's a lot like a fire, man. I hate to keep bringing that up, but I think that concept just like stuck in my brain, you know, since the first time I came up there to train with you and we like after a long, hard day out there training and shooting and, and, and talking to the people and, and doing all this kinds of stuff. You and I like stayed up, I don't know, till th two, three, four o'clock in the morning, just talking around the fire. And, and somehow that fire was like feeding our motivation 
<laughs> to catch up with each other and talk about all these things and and we, we, we went to like deep places there was and there was no no ganja or anything like that being <laughs> being smoked up there <laughs> no no definitely not I, that's that's uh i'm more of a moonshine guy yeah. uh, <laughs> i don't think you know, i didn't it, see any moonshine either but yeah <laughs> well you didn't you didn't ask yeah, yeah. oh see <laughs> well i don't i don't even i don't even drink a lot because i can't if i drink if i would have had some moonshine i would have been knocked out right there you just it's have to okay. throw a blanket over me. But what? So let, let's. Can we expand on that a little bit? Like, for the people who think, you know, because I know some people got really upset on one side of the. You know, if we think about the the whole aisle thing in America drives me crazy. Right, left, right. So I know some people got upset about "Make America Great Again," and some people got maybe like, uh, I don't know. I I don't want to say inspired, but we could say inspired by it. What What do you really think about that whole? make america great again thing well i mean you have to ask yourself if, if the slogans make america great again what what was it that made it not great in in his opinion you mm -hmm. know what to me what what makes america less mm -hmm. is more government right True. so so the more True. the more government we have the less great america becomes because mm -hmm. this country isn't about the government i mean our, yeah. our foundational charter uh, the Declaration of Independence talks about the role of government, and the role of government is to protect our life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Mm -hmm. Pursuit of happiness, of course, being our property. Mm -hmm. So the life, our right to life, means we have a right to live our life and the right to protect it. Mm -hmm. Liberty, I mean, I don't know if anybody even understands what liberty actually is. Liberty is is having a coercion-free existence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, of course— the pursuit of happiness uh, Jefferson borrowed from Locke, his second treatise on government. He talks about um, property. Well, the right mm -hmm. to acquire and improve property. So government is, is only the only reason we give consent to government is to protect those three things. Mm -hmm. So what happens when they become the greatest violator of mm -hmm. all three of those things? Right. Mm -hmm. So th that's what to me has is what I mean, the Declaration of Independence was such a radical document and in many ways. I, perf I, I, I admire the Declaration of Independence far more than the Constitution. Okay. You know, and it's not like I dislike the Constitution, but, but let's be honest. The purpose of the Constitution was to restrict and limit government. It's a right. blueprint against government. Yeah. From the beginning, I, I, we, we, were meant to have, we were meant to have small government. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.